Hey everyone, this is Nona again from TheAlliantLover.com. I have another fun little gestures and mannerisms video for you today. Today we will be looking at a few flamboyant naturals. Um, I know I usually start off letting you look at a few silently, but I find this type to be a bit more subtle. So I just want to go straight into it, straight into what patterns I've noticed. So first of all, I noticed they have a very composed torso. Um, they don't really move too much in terms of following their head or their eyes. They kind of keep this part very grounded. And yes, they might lean side to side, but it is very controlled and very composed. Um, also, their hands, they're decisive and they have a velocity to it, but it's always softened. It's softened around the edges. It's decisive, but flowing. Um, they're not as definitive and exaggerated as dramatics. They're not as flowy and soft as soft dramatics. Also, when they think about what they're going to say, they seem a bit more present in the moment, whereas soft dramatics and theatrical romantics tend to look a little bit more dreamy, a little bit absorbed in their inner world. Um, I find that flamboyant naturals are a bit more candid and present. Uh, so let's take a look and see if you find these patterns too. So watch her hands and watch her torso. Let's look at a wild one, Julia Roberts. She's a bit more, um, a bit more vibrant, a bit more expressive, but she still has the same pattern. What I notice most about her is that even if she makes bigger movements or big expressions, they're still quite contained and she stays quite rigid here. She'll move her shoulders or her head or lean, but this stays quite composed and tight, for lack of better words. Cindy Crawford. Watch the hands. They're decisive, they have velocity, but there's like a buffer zone at the very end of their movement. They're not super sharp. And the way they speak is very candid. It's not like they're super aware of themselves and they're not trying to put up a very artful demeanor. It's very straightforward. And the stone. Even though she makes um, more erratic movements with her head, this still stays quite still. She'll lean, but this is still quite composed. And the way they move and their expressions are um, a good mix of definitive point A to point B with a little tiny bit of softening. So it's like a softened yang. It's blunt, but the edges aren't so sharp. So let's take a look at Cameron Diaz. She's very disarming to watch in my opinion. She's very friendly and bubbly and fresh, but still very relaxed and casual. So watch your hands. You know, they, they're just so moderate in the, the nature of their force.
And their movements aren't that big. You know, their movements are pronounced, but they happen within a very measured range. And last one, mama group, watch your hands. So from looking at all these flamboyant naturals, what I take away is that they have a certain rawness to the way they move and the way they speak. It's more candid, it's more fresh, it's more straightforward. There's not a lot of artfulness or you know, dreaminess like with the soft matics or the theatrical romantics. There isn't a sense of push and pull, of going really inwards and then going really outwards. It's pretty even. Um, there is a sense of that softened yang that you can really see when they move. They can move definitively, but there's no sharp edges. There's nothing really sharp about the way they move. Even when they do small movements with velocity, it's still very controlled and composed. And they're very good at rooting the upper part of their torso. Um, they're more leaners than flowers, if that makes sense. So. I mean, those are the little patterns that I saw. This one was a little harder to, to read. It was a little more subtle. I'll do soft naturals next. And I predict that it will also be a bit more of a subtle type. Um, and then we'll get into classics and gamine. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.